What we're going to demonstrate today in this video is how to set up one of our fuel management systems, better known as Wonderbox, HDA Echo, Diesel Dispenser, or DEF Dispenser, with a static IP address, meaning a permanent IP address that belongs to just that device. Down at the bottom of the screen, um, you see a button called DHCP re Reservation. Uh, currently, right now, what you're staring at is the application or software behind the router. Once I click on that DHCP Reservation button, it's going to bring me to another page where I can reserve that IP address. I've clicked on the button now, and it's brought me to this new page where I will click on another button here that says manually add device reservations. That will open up some text, bo text boxes where I can enter the information. I'm now going to enter the information and save it. I have now entered the information and I've assigned the device an IP address of 192.168.1.070. I'm going to hit save now. Okay. Once it finishes processing, the router then will reserve that address for that specific device at that specific IP address with that specific MAC address that belongs to the device. There is no other way for the router to know what device owns the IP address without associating it to the MAC address. We will now set up the hardware device with the correct IP address for communication and static IP. As you can see, the device has been set up for wireless connectivity. I will now plug in the device and show the firmware. The device will now try to pick up the wireless connection, but you will see multiple errors come up because it still has to be set up through the software to make the connection. I will now enter the back end software code and set up the device in static no DHCP mode. Okay, now that I am in the back end software, I will sc scroll down to system, hit the enter button, scroll down to extended, hit the enter button. Scroll all the way down to interface, hit the enter button. Scroll first to DHCP, make sure that it is turned off. It is. Hit enter. Go back to the I down to the IP address, hit enter. And now I want to give the IP address an end number of zero seven zero and hit enter I will receive another network error message Now I will proceed to the exit button, exit out, 
and I will now make the final connection through the software. Alrighty, now we're back on the software side. We're going to double click on the HD Manager 8 software and we're going to go up to the master data tab here. We're going to click on that. We're going to then click on the HDA and we're going to allow the system to bring up the fuel terminal. It does this all on its own. Um, it usually takes anywhere between three to four minutes for the system to populate on the screen. Um, you just got to be a little patient here and just wait. The one thing we may want to also do though is go to the system log, double click on the T. Now you have a log entry here that you can see. Once the system comes up, when we do the data transfer, you'll see the information being recorded through the log. And there it goes. Uh, the system came up um, right at the uh, dispenser name is right here. Okay, here it is communicating, set, sending all the data back. We'll do now a data transfer. Um, we'll send information from the fuel management to the computer, and then we'll do the reverse as well. Uh, we'll hit OK. All that information is now coming back to us as well. So that's basically the simplicity of doing the uh, static um, IP uh, connection. If you have any uh, concerns or questions, please give us a call at 281-446-7300 um, from Tecalament. We appreciate everything you guys do for us out there. Thank you very much, and I hope this helps.